Hello guys, welcome to the channel once more, your one and only exciting channel. Okay, so today we are going to embark on a very, very cool and exciting journey. So we are going to be learning um, that. I'm sure you've all heard of that. Oh, I'm so excited. So um, let's start, let's start, let's start. So what's that basically before we even dive into coding and everything? What's that? That is um, a modern general purpose programming language, right? Originally developed by Google. You know, we have the designers, Lars Spark and Casper. So it's a fully object oriented programming language. Right? The syntax is similar to C and if you have ever tried um, Java, for those who have coded in Java, you will see some similarities as we move along. Just follow up, follow up through the series and uh, you're going to learn a lot. So, uses? Hmm, what's that really useful? Okay, it's used for developing uh, mobile applications, right? Basically, mobile applications, web, you can use that on the web, yeah. You can use it for servers, desktop, even the internet of things like, um, I know um, most people haven't heard of that because it's not actually something more popular right it's not a, a popular program language but i'm sure you must have heard of flutter yeah like what's flutter nah flutter flutter is just um, a development framework that's used for developing mobile apps i mean it's like even desktop whatever you want to develop that's like app related you use flutter which um, uses the programming language that okay so uh, what will I choose? What will I choose that over other programming language? <laughs> That's a good question. First and first, I love this one because it's first of all cross-platform. I mean, it's supported on all major operating systems, be it Android, be it OS, be it Mac OS, be it Windows, even Linux. Is my favorite operating system. You can see them. That is being supported. So uh, yeah, it also has the ahead of time compilation. That's the the, the AOT. Yeah, uh, basically, I know it's going to sound a little bit uh, weak. Yeah, mean it just means um, the code is being um, converted directly to machine code. Yeah, let's just keep it simple. Let's not dive into complex here. Yeah? And it's a uh, very stable. Uses um, it's being used to build a. Uh, quality real-time applications like uh, as we go ahead we're going to see them let's not start splitting them let's call uh, the surprise going let's keep the surprise going on so, let's, start, let's start let's start go ahead i'm excited to code we can just go ahead like that we need to install the that sdk which is the development kit right we need to need to install that so how do we do that no hmm. Let's go on a machine. We have to type um, that dot dev. Yeah, that dot dev. Or if you already have it installed in your machine, we're going to be using um, VS Code. Yeah, we're going to be using VS Code to be able to code all along. So uh, yeah, let's go on. Let's go on. I open my terminal. Open the terminal. I'll type a touch, touch like touch normally. Main dot dot. Oh, sorry. I had to switch to batch. Yeah. Don't also forget you have to switch to batch, not partial, actually. So you have to type a touch. Main dot dot. That's the main dot that is the file extension of the dot. Uh, let's go, let's go, main dot that. Yeah, and if I come here, I see it has been created right now. Main dot that. Or you can see go, you click here on new file, you create, give the name, and don't forget the extension. Never forget the extension. Okay. So. Like in all programming languages, right? We always have a basic programming, uh, uh, first program that we write always, which is Hello World. So let's let's start. Let's start. Mm. Let's see void main 
the main is um our entry entry point that's the program's application entry point so where are those brackets again yeah followed by curly braces followed by curly braces yeah got that so um prints and we put up our quotes sorry about that let's put up our quotes okay mm, yeah so we have to put um this the double quotes i will write um hello world and always don't forget to end with uh semicolons because the semicolon is the statement terminator so uh, yeah i'm excited let's see let's see let's see what they're going to produce so in order to be able to run it right you have to run it in the console that's why we had to install the the dat sdk the dat sdk just permits us to be able to run it in the command line right to, to be able to see the the output the output of it so um yeah so let's see let's run it and the way to run it right it, there is a syntax we see that they will give the name of our file that's main dot that and enter oh sorry about that let's see hey yeah and uh yeah so you see if you write the uh, void main print hello world and you write in the command line like i did you just type um that main that's the name of the file main dot that right and you press enter it's going to produce you this result hello world so uh yeah basically um that's it so this is the first episode and um more are coming up so please don't forget to subscribe share like and don't forget to press the notification bell um, just somewhere right down yeah just down just down okay thanks thanks very much and uh see you